guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 8 of, I was about to say, The Rising of the Shield Hero. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I already watched that, damn it. <laughs> episode 8 of the Helpful Fox Senko Sun. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yay! <laughs> Damn. I'm thinking you were getting like maybe more than one. Hiya. Yeah. It's so funny, like when you hear her as Shido, and then when you hear her as freaking Melty and Shield Hero, it's so freaking similar but different at the same time. Uh, so, technically, we're having a fan service episode, kind of. Okay. Are your tail still out? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing so. It's gonna be a little weird. See, I don't know how, like, far this show is in the manga, but, like, if it's not as far and close to the manga, like, can we have a season two, please? This show's, like, too freaking good. If Kobayashi can have a second fucking season, this can have a second season. I swear to God. I, I kind of need it. Like, it's just... Mm, happiness in a nutshell. <laughs> when the hell are we going to see her, like, interact with them? We've seen her. Interact with Tenko and Chido, but I just want her in the group now. I mean, it's episode freaking eight. We're almost done with this damn show. We'll be done like next month, and that like literally hurts. Cause, like, mm. <laughs> I'll make you forget all about it. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Of course. Um, I don't know why, but that reminds me of something from JoJo. I can see someone named Jasko in the JoJo series. <laughs> I 
god. You poor Velma, you. <laughs> Do you two not want to go swimming? You just want to chill? Yeah, because he gets to relax for a day, even though it is a day. Yeah. <clears throat> Seriously? See, that would make me fall asleep, just like listening to the laying of the scene, I'm like... <laughs> oh, damn! Shadow, what the fuck are you about? <laughs> Shadow is like a little too competitive. <laughs> Fox girls instead of fan service. I have a feeling she's gonna miss. Holy shit! I mean, but you know, that's just a beach ball. If it was like a volleyball, oh my god, that hurts so much worse. Ugh. That and a basketball. Those hurt. So fucking much, no. Also a baseball. And a golf ball. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, 
Hopefully they make a sand castle, because, I mean, you know, you're at the beach. Make a damn castle. <laughs> Is that a crab? Oh my god, freaking apple software. Go away. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Stay go! Did she get a cramp? Oh my god! <laughs> God, that was so fucking cute. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's fine. Do you even have a, you know, a grill anywhere? And, and there's the fucking grill. Mm -hmm. uh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amazon. That's what I'm on all the fucking time. And just have it be there, all ready to go. <laughs> well, just go, you know, out of you. Yeah, see, you got the parents, and then you got the kids. Uh, oh! <laughs> yeah, and don't get lost, hopefully. Is it weird that I'm also getting feels to the interviews with Monster Girls? Kind of pull fancy shade eyes nice episode, even though, you know, that's... <laughs> They can't have food in there, but you know, it looks deserted. Is that the... Oh, it is! Finally. God damn. Well, you know, she came out of nowhere. Mm 
Mm, like magic. She's gone. Okay. Now the biggest thing is, is he gonna tell Senko and Shadow about what the fuck just happened? See, I don't think he is. But then why pop up now of all times? Mm -hmm. So in a way, you would consider the beach purgatory? <laughs> Is this seaweed? <laughs> it's okay, Jessica. It's okay. Oh my god, that makes me so hungry. I haven't eaten yet. I just don't know what to cook. Maybe I'll- no, I'm gonna make hamburgers. That's what I want. Mm-hmm. So, so good. Are you literally gonna eat all of that by yourself? Mm hmm? Mm hmm. Damn. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even if it was for a day, dude, like, uh. Yeah, that's the thing about summer. It goes back so quickly. I'm next thing you know, done. That too. Mm. 
my heart hurts. Oh my god. Uh-huh. <laughs> For Jessica, she gonna forget all this stuff. <laughs> That's so messed up though. Like, oh my god. Okay, now that she's finally officially in the picture and such, I don't know how to feel about her. See, and she got darkness. See, mm -mm. can't trust her. Nope, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. nope. We don't trust what she's like. What six tail? The six tail fox? No, mm -mm. this ain't Naruto. What wasn't that nine tail? I don't know. I haven't like, watched Naruto in a long fucking time, and I don't think I could sit there and rewatch Naruto. It's so fucking long. But it was nice to go to the beach. Like, uh, just. Makes me want to go to the fucking beach, but usually the beach here in Florida is too overcrowded. And then you're like, when's the perfect time to go? And then because I am not, I'm a former military brat, um, I can go to the private beaches uh, near the base and such, but still. Sometimes people a lot like to go, and it's just like too freaking much. But mm, I'm just hungry. I want food now. It's like they made me that ass hungry. But for her to come in and then say things to Nakano, and now she's finally here, I feel like it's like kind of the last few episodes of Miss Kobayashi where it was sweet, but then it was slowly going to ready to be a turn for a worse, and it got really, really bad towards the end but then they still fixed it. So I, I'm not saying she'll be the villain of this show. It's just something bad is coming, and it's something to do with the freaking woman. We never trust a woman with, like... We just don't trust her. That's it. I don't know. D don't trust her. I don't trust her. You guys probably don't trust her. I like her, though. She seems mysterious and interesting. But honestly, what the freak, man? <laughs> What if she's gonna like take Nagano? Like, I, I can't imagine that, but then Senko might get sad and then she might do some shit. I don't know. Or, like, what if she tells Shiro and Senko that, like, she can't, no, well, they can't stay there too long? I mean, Senko's been here since episode freaking one in the world of the living. Shouldn't there be, like, a penalty for her being there for that damn long? But there's gotta be something. If she's here, and she's staring at him, and Senko's been in the world of living way too long, longer than she should be, because, like, shit, oh, she goes to the world of living, but then eventually she comes back home. So she goes back and forth every single day. Senko, on the other hand, she's been here since episode one, and there's got to be, like, a penalty or something. Be like, hey, if you stay here too long, you know, you might lose your powers. You might... He might forget you. Memories. Ish like that. I don't know. Something like fucking Noragami freaking ish is gonna happen. I don't know. Something. I, it's just, I don't trust this woman. This like, she finally comes. I'm thinking this is gonna be like happy-go-lucky, which finally seeing her was interesting, but she just, she's very mysterious. There's something that I feel like is off about this last person. And typically, when someone is very mysterious or 50 out of 50, the bad guy is still being the good guy. I mean, freaking Toru's dad wanted her to come back no matter what. And then it took only, what, 
Kobayashi, Kana, Toru, Loka, uh, that one dude who I can't remember his damn name. <laughs> Everyone literally to like beg and plead for Toru's dad to not let her go back home. And so I feel like it's going to be like that. But instead of having Senko go home, it'll be something like possibly with Nakano's memories or anything. I don't know, but like, don't do it, please. Like, don't make this show happy, happy, happy for like the last few episodes and then <laughs> 11 and 12 be like so fucking sad that I'm gonna cry. I don't wanna cry. No, I'm not in the mood to cry. And then plus, any single freaking time I say, no, I'm not going to cry today, guys, I end up crying for some weird reason. I did it with Sonar Online, <laughs> like, a lot. And I, I'm currently doing it with freaking Fruits Basket because Fruits Basket, and hell, I did it with last week's Attack on Titan, and of course, I'm going to continuously cry, like, during that until Attack on Titan is over. But I don't know. Something's gonna happen, and I don't like the fact that I'm thinking about this. Like, it really is fucking with me right now, and I'm like, I really don't want anything to happen with the relationship of Senko and Nakano, but something, something's gonna happen, and it's gonna also affect, um, Josuke and Shido's relationship together, because, I mean, like, they are technically, like, a little family. They're all tight-knit, and they're always together, even though sometimes... Shido and Jessica are doing their own thing. And <laughs> Senko and Nagano are always doing their own thing too. But like to have the four of them together officially doing something, even though What's Your Face is not really going to remember this because she's going to get knocked out when they leave. I, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm stumped about what I think is going to happen next. This woman, Fox woman comes out of nowhere and mysteriously gives them food and then disappears and I don't know. I'm just uh and I hate this feeling. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to me towards episode eight of the helpful Fox Senko Sun, not the rising of the shield hero, damn it. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Macho Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 9. Bye, guys.